What's up guys, this is Seville, and today I'm going to do a total wrap up of the 2019 New York Toy Fair. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below, and if you want to see more from me, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Hasbro easily had the largest market share of the event, starting with Marvel Legends. With many new figures coming from the comic book based Spider-Man and X-Men lines in a combination of multi-packs as well as single-pack figures in waves. Featuring characters such as Magneto, Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, and other popular characters such as Nightcrawler, Mr. Sinister, and Cannonball. And then moving on to the Spider-Man front, you have characters such as Doppelganger, Hydra Man, Scorpion, and the black costume Spider-Woman. On the MCU front, there's a two-pack of Spider-Man with the yellow jacket, along with MJ. They also showed figures based on the Far From Home suits, such as the red and black suit, as well as the stealth suit. With this year being Marvel's 80th anniversary, Hasbro is putting together a line of classic style figures that will be released in a manner similar to last year's Marvel Studios 10th anniversary line, featuring characters such as Hulk, Wolverine, Thor, Iron Man, and Captain America. Along with all of those, there will also be some more X-Men characters as well as another offering of MCU characters most of which are being made for the first time, but there will still be a handful of repaints. As well as a two-pack of Iron Man and Spider-Man where they finally have their correct accessories. Moving on from Marvel Legends though, let's take a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. In my Day 1 video, I did show the prototype images from all four Wave 1 figures, but now we've also gotten a complete look at the box art, as well as new images featuring the accessories of each figure. Along with these images, Hasbro also announced that their first GameStop exclusive figure will be Zed and Rita's right hand monster, Goldar. I will definitely be adding all of these figures to my collection as soon as they're available. Hasbro did also have some of the Star Wars Black Series figures on display, but I think they're withholding most surprises until the Star Wars celebration. So, moving beyond Hasbro, Mattel did have a little bit more to show off for the DC Multiverse. Mostly featuring Batman and his related characters because his 80th anniversary is also coming up this year. Giving us new versions of Robin, the Riddler, the Joker, and Poison Ivy. Also with Batman related figures, there's DC Collectibles with some new animated style characters, as well as Mezco with 1989 Batman and Harley Quinn. And then of course next year, we'll get to see a new take on Batman from McFarlane Toys. Sticking to this year though, McFarlane himself showed off his Game of Thrones figures featuring several of the primary characters from the show, as well as a couple of dragons. Speaking of dragons, McFarlane's also going to try his take with the Elder Scrolls dragon, Alduin, and even more video game licenses such as Doom and Mortal Kombat. McFarlane will also continue with his anime lines, but promises the figures now will have more articulation than they have in the past. Moving on to NECA, after revealing the Target exclusive 2-packs of the Ninja Turtles animated figures, NECA went on to show off accompanying figures of Rocksteady and Bebop. For now, these are expected to be part of a second wave of Target exclusive figures. NECA had plenty more on display at the show, but most of which were just new versions of previously made figures, such as the horror icons Michael and Pennywise. Some of these characters are also getting a new cartoony spin made on them. Along with these new cartoon figures, NECA is also trying their hand at fabric cloth figures featuring characters from They Live, The Goonies, and Bob Ross for some reason. Of course, it wouldn't be NECA without some more Predator figures being on the way. And finally, to what I think was the biggest surprise coming out of this year's show, coming from Super 7. They are making a 7-inch deluxe line of figures based on Dolph Lundgren's Masters of the Universe film. I honestly never would have thought I needed these figures, but now that I see these images, I can't wait to have these figures in my hand. Thank you guys for watching, and if you like this video, get over here and subscribe to Civilian Collectibles.